You know what it is, man. Another vid, another reaction. We got top 10 homemade comfort foods. Yeah, so I want to do a whole damn video, but I'm going to just save it. The other parts for, you know. But yeah, my top three would guess to be set. Hmm, I could say sandwich, but I'm not going to include it because that's the whole thing. I'll say eggs, peanut butter and jelly, or... Um, I'll say chips or some shit random. I would say that. That'll be my guess, but I'm gonna do the top five and I'll do the part two soon. But this video about to go. Everybody needs an escape. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 homemade comfort foods. Well, it's easy to go Hold out on, and find something list. to eat. There's something what did I say? Eggs? About food that comes from the familiar territory of your own If kitchen, breakfast counts as one, I'll count that. Savory, it's all I'll say egg fantastic. slash breakfast. And it's all sure to leave us feeling sandwich satisfied, and pizza. And I'm going to switch that and say pizza. Time. Number but, 10, hamburgers or cheeseburgers. Why is that the number American 10, though? Staple. Like the hot dog, a good burger conjures up images of roller skating car hops, dangerous hot rods, and hot summer nights cruising the main drag. It may even remind you of the good old days when your dad would grill up a juicy patty at the summer cookout. The simple beef hamburger has undergone constant reinvention, but whether topped with gourmet ingredients or good old cheese, pickles, and ketchup, whether fast food or slow grilled, it's versatile, portable, and will never go out of style. Number nine, pancakes. A weekend favorite. And what's not to like? From the smell to the light, fluffy texture, pancakes are the meal of choice for breakfast in bed. Popular around the world in different forms, with kids and adults alike. Griddle cakes are great topped with berries or whipped cream, as thin crepes or thicker flapjacks, and slathered in syrup. There's no better way to start your day than waking up at the crack of dawn, eating a few stacks of pancakes, and then sleeping for another six hours. Number eight, meatloaf. You hungry? Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? Every grandma has a meatloaf. Meatloaf go crazy depending on how you make it and who makes it. And chances are you agree. A mixture of ground meat and shit. spices. I am not often bored. with a I'm sweet sauce and some breadcrumbs thrown in. With green this beans, mashed potatoes. Is the perfect dish to dig into on a blustery and a nice winter's roll. eve. With its origins dating to the fifth man. century. Meatloaf gained popularity during the Great Depression as a way to stretch the meat budget. But that's not why we green eat it now. And it's certainly not why we go back for seconds, thirds, and possibly fourths if nobody's looking. Yeah, Number seven, mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Never go wrong with that. Ah, the humble potato. This deceptively simple and inexpensive from, uh, starch Texas can be Texas prepared Roadhouse. countless ways. Know, Baked or stuffed, fries or chips, roasted or scalloped, salad or tots. But the tastiest tuber may be the almighty mashed potato. Available in pretty much any diner and restaurant you'll ever find. Everyone uses a different recipe for their mash, some with cream, some with garlic, some smooth, some with lumps. But whatever the style, it's like a warm, carb-loaded culinary blanket. And unlike real blankets, these go great with gravy. Number six, pasta. pasta. Where would Italian cuisine be without pasta yummy noodles? Five. Arguably one of the most versatile foods out there, pasta is yours to customize to say and pasta, place your own culinary right. stamp on. Fresh or dried, long or short, fettuccine or rigatoni, it's all delicious full of comforting carbs. Oh, man, there is about to hit number five, man. We're about to see what the other fives is, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hold on, hey, man.